Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video, well what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a little case study that a client has sent me uh, and it's a, it's a case study which is all about design of experiments and in a very simple way, I'm not going to give you all the details but in a very simple way I'm going to show you why design of experiments is the title that I always give it which is design of experiments is the fastest way to find out if you have a process and you're trying to make it go faster cheaper best settings best quality results whatever it happens to be you're playing about with dials there is no faster way to find out than design of experiments and in this little case study you will see exactly that just in three or four slides the power of this thing how fast it finds out knowledge is simply incredible let's take a look at the case study so here it is uh, it's a simple cleaning process uh, I think it's a three-stage cleaning process um, and this is the process that the client is basically trying to optimize now here are the here's the control panel so this is a picture of the control panel and you can see here the variables that we can play with we've got the vapor the ultrasonics the immersion the agitation vapor 2 and the freeboard the extraction is just the speed of how fast the part comes out of the uh, machine so we're not going to test that but what we therefore we end up with we end up with just six variables that we'd like to test so we have six variables and now of course what we've got to do with these six variables in order to design an experiment is we have to decide what the low value of a test will be what the high value of a test will be so we're going to decide on the highs and the lows for each one of these and you can see on the little table at the bottom that they give us that information and that the first variable look vapor one well we have between one and six hundred so in other words we have five hundred choices then we have another one to six hundred for ultrasonics another five hundred choices same with immersion then we have twenty choices on the agitation 500 choices on the vapor and 500 choices on the freeboard now here's where the complexity comes from because of course what most people do is they just say well it's six variables it's six variables at two levels I'll find that out in an afternoon it won't be any problem at all but they never work out the real complexity of the process because the real complexity of the process is the combinations the fact that I can do 500 on vapor 1 then I multiply it by 500 on ultrasonics then I multiply it by 500 on the immersion now if you multiply the combinations up then you get the true complexity of trying to optimize this process so let's take a look and let's multiply these numbers through 500 by 500 by 500 by 20 by 500 by 500 and of course what do we get when we multiply those numbers through we get the true complexity of this process and we get 600 and 25 trillion ways of setting this machine up and we're trying to find the best settings in amongst that complexity and that's why DOE is the fastest way to find out because with 625 trillion combinations here's the test we're going to do and it's a pre-designed test it's known as the Taguchi L12 and how many tests do you have to do well the name is in the title you are just gonna do 12 setups 12 setups to find the best settings out of 600 
and 25 trillion that you could choose from. This is the fastest way to find out the most about your process. Now on this page they are measuring the time but on another page they are also measuring the cleaning capability. So I'm just showing you the, the time in this case and of course the other point here is we're just going to use one sample. We've got one sample which could be one to three thousand if you're doing pass fail and because this is cleaning this is sort of count data so it could have been that they were using one to three thousand 30 to 50 if you're measuring something. One sample to find out what six variables are going to do. We're going to measure the time as one of the outputs or the cycle time is one of the outputs and then on the next page you're actually going to see the graph for the cleaning capability. I'm not going to actually show you the data for the cleaning capability. We're going to take a look at the graph. So imagine it, 12 tests out of 625 million. We're going to get two pieces of information. How fast can we go and how clean can we make the process? Yeah, so we've got the time in this column. And then on the next page, you're going to see the cleaning capability. Now here's the graph, look, this is measuring something called chip count. This is telling us how clean the, the actual components are. And very quickly, this graph, the longer the line, the more influential the variable is in this particular output measure. So look, simple. The biggest line, there it is. It's for immersion. So immersion is the biggest variable that's influencing the, the cleaning capability. The next one, look, the next longest line, the one on the end, freeboard. No idea what that means, but it doesn't matter. Simple piece of information from this graph. And finally, ultrasonics is the third variable. So there are the three biggest variables. Just bang, 12 tests. We can get the three biggest variables so easy. Ultrasonics, immersion, and freeboard just from 12 setups and one sample group. This is the fastest way to find out. So, I'm not gonna show you any more detail than that. I don't need to show you any more detail than that. This is the fastest way to find out. 625 trillion combinations. How would you have got this information in just 12 experiments? And by the way, the pattern is pre-designed. So we didn't make those 12 tests up. We're not just making 12 experiments up. Someone has sat down and worked out what the best 12 tests are to do to understand that design space with 625 trillion combinations in. And then we've run the L12, fastest way to find out. And then we've got that information. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to learn more, then please subscribe, just click uh, on the link below. If you'd like to uh, leave a comment, then also please leave comments. Uh, they help with the, the channel. Uh, if you'd like to click on like, that would also be very, 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 very helpful. But guys, design of experiments, whether you like the channel or not, please go and learn more about it. If you use design of experiments, you will get process knowledge, maximum process knowledge in the shortest possible time and you will simply make more money. Design of experiments.